Wicker Park 2004 movie review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Wicker Park from 2004. Now, this movie is pretty interesting. It has a pretty good mystery style element to it, uh, something that you don't know for about a good half of the movie. And this movie does lean pretty heavy on the drama and the romance. Now, I don't mind a good romance and I don't mind some drama, but all drama and romance usually isn't my favorite aspect, but this is one of those stories that I really appreciate for what it is. And although I'm not a big drama and romance guy, I wouldn't want anything changed with this story because I really did enjoy it for what it was. You kind of want to know what to expect a little bit when you're going into it because it doesn't really make sense on why this movie is so good for a long time. You have a lot of classic horror people in this cast. You have uh, Rose Byrne, which is probably one of the first movies I've ever seen Rose Byrne in. She's in the original Insidious, that'll come in a few years. You have Matthew Lillard in here, which is from Scream. He's from 13 Ghosts. He's from, he's just one of the most iconic, you know, 90s scary movie guys. And then you also have Josh Hartnett, which he was in Halloween H2O and he was also in The Faculty. So a lot of, you know, people who were in the horror genre in this movie, but this is definitely not a horror movie. It's definitely not really a suspense movie. It is a romance drama, but again, I like it for that. This is what it feels like to watch this movie. So you're watching it, you have this spontaneous love at first sight. That's the first part. Then after this spontaneous love at first sight, things kind of get a little confusing and slow. Things don't really make sense. I saw somebody online say it's almost like the scenes are out of order and I could kind of see that. It just, I don't really know what I'm watching. You know, the scenes don't really make sense. I'm a little bit confused. And then about halfway through or so, the viewer is let behind the curtain. There's something that's manipulating things in the story behind the scenes and you don't really see that till about halfway through. And from there it becomes very nail biting and intense because you're left behind the curtain and these two people that you've grown to like since the beginning, because of this unseen force, it's almost like they're not gonna get to express the love that they have for each other. They become so close to just completely missing each other forever, to just moving on, to just giving up. And it just is so nail biting and intense because you're let behind the curtain and you're like, just please talk to each other, figure this out because you guys love each other. And there's just something that's, that's, that's messing with you guys. Can you just please figure it out? I do think by the end, it was very satisfying. I just, you have to know that it is a, it's a drama, it's a romance. And again, it, it's a little bit confusing and slow in the, in the first part of this movie. So eventually you'll be let behind the curtain and things will make more sense. But again, this is gonna be for somebody who likes more drama and romance. And I also wanna say I did appreciate Matthew Lillard in this role because he plays a person like he did in Scream, but he's much more grounded, he's much more vulnerable, he's less like a crazy person. And it's kind of nice to see him play this role of being very vulnerable and like scared and like not always in control of everything. I liked seeing him in this role. There was times where Josh Hartnett to me felt like a cringy boy man. I wasn't too big of a fan of that. I kind of felt that a little bit in this movie. And then the romance to me was above average. Now I liked both these characters. I did feel a little bit between them, but I felt a lot more from other characters. Uh, I just think that the connection between them could have been a little bit better, but it was by no means bad. So if I was gonna say buy, try, or pass, I think this is a definite try. Uh, this movie also has a very 2004 style feel to where it's definitely not 1999 and 2000, but it's definitely not 2010 yet. I don't know what it is, but these movies in 2004, they have a very specific feeling to them. But just to keep in mind that it is a little bit drama and romancy. So if you really don't like drama and you know romance, things like that, I would just avoid it. If you're a fan, definitely check it out. And if I was gonna rate it, I'd probably rate it between like a 7.5 to an eight out of 10. I really do like it. Again, it wasn't my style movie. I wouldn't want anything changed with it though because I liked it for what it was. So yeah, 7.5 to an eight. Have you seen this movie? Have you not seen this movie? Is there any other movies that are similar to this? And once you uh, figure out the twist, there's not that many movies that are mysterious and twisty like this one. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this movie. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. I found a hotel key in the back yesterday. A woman left it. I don't know if you saw her.